Wink News is following the steps of the accused killer. This was the restaurant police found her in, the Sea Ranch in South Padre Island. The Night Beats' Nicole Valdez is live there right now. She walks us through the dramatic mo moments as investigators ended the cross-country manhunt. Nicole. Brittany, investigators said they believed Reese let her guard down when she walked into the seaside restaurant and stayed for over an hour. For the first time, we're getting a look at that suspect inside, her calm and confident demeanor, but the look on her face when she's met by U.S. Marshals says it all. Maybe she just thought it was a small island that no one should be kind of just blend in, which turned out to be the exact opposite for her. After six years living on South Padre Island, Rose Beatty never expected the talk of the town to be the arrest of wanted fugitive Lois Reese. I'm just sorry I missed it. 30 seconds is all it took. Brand new exclusive surveillance video from inside the Sea Ranch restaurant shows Lois Reese's last moments of freedom. Video from above this bar shows Reese walking in, taking a seat at the edge of the bar right in front of the camera's view. Reese then ordered a glass of wine, then an entree, and she sits at the bar for a little over an hour, eats, and even seemingly befriends another woman. We wouldn't think that there would be a wanted fugitive sitting at the bar here at the, on South Padre Island. Then undercover marshals walk in, quickly place their arms around her and walk right out. She stood out to the bartender a little bit, um, but until she came away in handcuffs, I guess nobody really thought too deeply into it. Manager Sean Reagan says he still wonders why Reese chose to stop here. I couldn't imagine that somebody would pick an island to if you're running from the law, it's not really the best place to be. There's only one bridge on and off the island. Today, an X made out of caution tape marks the seat where the accused killer sat for the last time before heading to jail. To think of something like that, it is just crazy. Now we spoke to Lee County investigators tonight who explained while this isn't where the murder happened, it's almost an extension of the crime scene, which is why they traveled all the way to South Padre Island. They wanted to make sure to follow the evidence. She could have left clues about the murder on her journey over here, so they wanted to make sure they spoke to anyone who may have heard her talk about the crimes or anything related to them. Live on South Padre Island, said Adam Nicole Valdez, Week News Now.